It was awesome. I mean, it's something you dream about. It was a little sweeter that we, we beat Mexico and then uh, obviously playing Honduras in the final for, for me and, and some of the other guys, they knocked us out of the U17 World Cup uh, qualifiers, so that was a big moment. And I don't know, it just made it that much better beating them. So yeah, it was, it was an amazing experience. Uh, glad I got to do it with all the boys and uh, hopefully we can go to the World Cup and perform well. We're all super happy with how we played. Um, Happy to contribute and, and get the win, uh, win the tournament. And then on an organizational level, I think it's just credit to the academy, credit to the, the, the years that we spent at the academy and the academies put into us, um, the investment they made in us. And I think it, it really just showed this tournament, but that's kind of the, the culture that the academy created was, was a group of winners. Um, and so wherever we go, we're gonna try and win, of course. So, so coming out and beating Haiti was, was definitely a big up for the team. Um, and I mean, Brooks played really well that game and kind of spurred our attack on and that really carried the momentum through the rest of the tournament. I think going into the tournament, we were confident, but it's, it's a little different going into a tournament and being confident than actually going out there and doing it. And uh, again, I just think credit to the team for, for really sticking with it. Um, being in Costa Rica for a month is never, never easy. Uh, you get tired of your roommate, same food every day, yada, yada, yada. But, but everyone wanted it bad, and, and we showed that on the field, so. Uh, I saw Alexi Lalas' tweet, that was cool. But I just tried to ignore it and, and, and keep playing through well throughout the tournament. And, and before the game, um, we watched a video on, um, on a little bit of the rivalry, not just the tactics of their team, but the history behind it and how much it meant to the coaches, the the U.S., um, and then us trying to trying to go in there and make make history was something that was um, I don't know just really motivated us and, and we went out there and did the job. Yeah, I mean even all the coaches were were high fiving everyone, hugging everyone. You could tell how happy and how much it meant to them, and then the players as well. Um, we knew. We knew it hadn't been done in a while, and we knew it was, it was going to be probably the biggest game of the tournament for us, or maybe the toughest opponent for us. So, so beating them and getting that reward was was big time. <laughs> That's sweet. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, anytime you put it on, it's it's a big honor. It's you, you kind of feel the weight of the jersey when you put it on. But now that we're champions, it's that much more sweeter. You know, uh, your confidence is higher, your your pride is higher. Everything about it is just that much better and really it just it was awesome um, just being around them for for a month uh, and then bringing that back here bringing that dynamic back here I think is going to be big for the team it's something you dream about uh, as a kid and and that chance was was taken from me and some of the other players in the last U17 cycle so we're going to give it everything we've got and, and try and make our mark and make history again.